Hi guys, last month I posted a review video about Universal Yum's Yum Box. Yep, that's me. This month I decided to go with the bigger box just to see what it's all about. Um, yeah, so let's get into this. Alright, so... Oh, Poland. Here we go. As always, the paper looks like a flag. I think that's really what I thought I'd love that. I actually had a friend guess that it was Poland, so good job, Kara. I wish you were here to try this stuff with me. Um, first impression, this is a very big box. And my first impression is I really hope I like Polish food. I really, really do. Um, okay, let's read the little book that comes with it. We went over this last month. If you want to check out that video, you can click on the link in the description below. Okay, so we have the booklet. Um, and we said um, information on the first page, trivia, um, whew, lots of snacks. This one's cool. This one's a lot more detailed than the last book. I love this. Look at this. What's in a name? In some parts of Poland, after you turn 18, you celebrate your name day instead of your birthday. So what is in a name day? Now, I've heard a name day before. Heard of a name day before. But I never knew what it was or where it came from. Um, each day of the calendar has a list of names on it. Instead of celebrating your birthday on that day, uh, you celebrate your name day with everyone else who shares your name on the appropriate day. That's cool. Let's see when my name day is. Watch me not have one. Yeah, don't have one. Don't have one. Um, if your name is Abby out there, let's create a name day. Any day you want. I'm cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, then the next page is Explore the Marvels of Poland. Um, it's got uh, different landmarks, which is really cool. Um, I love geography and traveling. So that's really cool. I'll show you that one. Uh, let's see. Then they have some uh, people... Uh, people, it says greatest thinkers in Poland. Yeah, I guess it's a bunch of their people they're proud of. Um, music playlist and then clues. Okay, next month's box. Listen to this. In little white houses perched by the sea, the people munch on olives and slurp saffron tea. If you don't like what they like, you're more than just crazy. You might upset the gods and the wind up in Hades. Greek? Maybe? Is it Greece? That'd be really cool. Okay, let's try some food. I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited. I'm really hungry is more an accurate description. Alright, so I'm gonna go in order. Um, first thing uh, we have is, correct me if I'm wrong, it looks like Prozinki. Uh, I don't know what this is. Let's read what it is. Um, onion potato przinki. We'll just say, we'll just get straight to the point. Polish chips are really, really different from American counterparts. Different color, flavor, and texture. Lighter, softer, and less of a crunch. Okay, so they're onion chips. Really flaky onion chips. Hmm, <laughs> that is different. I'm not a big onion fan. They're not bad. I would, don't know that I would go buy them anywhere. Um, okay. Next thing we have is a Katarzynki dark chocolate gingerbread. This was actually one of the things that um, that was a clue for last month's box. Chocolate covered gingerbread. Dark chocolate covered gingerbread. It smells good. Gingerbread. Oh, it's soft gingerbread. Mm. 
it says this is um Copernic. The company that bakes these cookies has been in operation since 1763. They figured it out. It's good. And has had its fair share of ups and downs over the past 250 years. During World War II, their factory was destroyed and the majority of the gingerbread machines were shipped to Germany for use as military parts. That's so sad. Huh. It says croaky. Milky cream fudge. I feel like I've heard of this. I don't know that I have, but I feel like I have. I don't know where I would have heard of it. Mm. Make sure I got the right thing. Okay. It looks like caramel. Ooh, let's block the face. Let's block. Good. Wow, that's good. Hmm. Croaky translates to little cows. These pieces of fudge are the caramels of your dreams. Flavorful, sweet, creamy, and chewy. Yeah. That's how I describe it too. It's good. Okay. Everything else in here, other than this, looks really sweet. That was the problem with the last box, is even the savory was sweet. And I got the little box, so it only had one savory thing in it, but it was mostly sweet stuff, and I was hoping to get a lot of savory things in this box, especially since it's the bigger box. Um, but I'm going to try this first. Tapsy cheese and onion potato chips. A lot of onion chips over there. If this is the most popular snack. Cheese and onion. I wonder if these will be anything like our um, cheddar and onion chips. Um, it says these are made in a town of 1900 people. These are crunchier, crispier, and the flavor is two thumbs up. Looks like Ridge's chips. My dog is begging for one. <laughs> Is it good? Mm. Is it good? Alright, next one is this. <laughs> this. Okay. It says halva is a dense. Sweet sesame based treat originally from the Middle East. It reportedly came real. Reportedly came to Eastern Europe by way of Jewish immigrants. Last May we brought you traditional Israeli halva with chocolate and sesame. The Israeli version was hit and miss hit or miss. With some of you comparing it to sandpaper. This halva spelled C H A W A L W A is in Poland. Couldn't be more different. It's made with real vanilla bean. And it's moist, which makes it more palatable than the Israeli one. I like vanilla. I say that about a lot of things, don't I? I like it. It's good. It smells good. It kind of smells like a peanut butter cookie.
I don't know what that tastes like. And there's those little crunchy things in it that resemble, lightly resemble, nobody get mad at me for saying this, but kind of resemble a Butterfinger. Pretty good. It's one of those things I don't know if I'd get it again. Uh, next one is Lobster Tails. I think it's these. I think I changed my mind about the last one. It has a weird aftertaste I'm not so fond of. It's white and stripey, kind of smells like strawberry. Um, because of their pink and white exterior, the hard candies are often called are called lobster tails, but rest assured there's no fishiness here. Hmm. Underneath the crunchy hard shell center, you'll find a flaky, crispy peanut candy filling. A hint of rum. Hmm. Rum and peanut butter, but the outside smells like strawberry. Nope. I'm not so crazy about that. Alright, the next one we have is the Milka Chocolate Covered Cow. That is this one. Alright. No. Guys, there's not a whole one. They're, cho they're cow shaped, but there's not a whole one. They're all in bits. That's so sad. Okay, I've heard a lot about Milka brand chocolate. It's very good. Um, it kind of reminds me of the first gingerbread we had, but the gingerbread is hard. It's not really gingerbread. It's good. Hmm. Okay. And we have mm, 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 mm. dark chocolate filling surrounds a dried whole plum in this classic Polish specialty. We like to think of it as a giant chocolate covered raisin. Okay. Alright. Chocolate covered. Yep. That tastes like chocolate, giant chocolate covered raisin. Um, the chocolate's really good. Hmm. Okay. Then we have a Tiki Taki chocolate bar. It says. Um, this unique chocolate bar combines two things you would never expect together, peanut butter and coconut. Before you gasp in horror, take a bite. There's something that works really well about this unique blend of mild peanut butter filling and smooth, cov cho ugh, smooth coconut fondant wrapped in dark chocolate. Move over jelly, peanut butter has a new friend. Alright. You're in little squares.
Hmm. This might just be my imagination. But I, I think that there are some coconut meat pieces in it. It's a texture thing. I don't like coconut. So it might just be me. It might just be like my imagination playing tricks on me. But I believe that there are some coconut pieces in there. Alright, the next one is... Uh, panna cotta milk chocolate bar. Panna cotta. It's pink. It's pretty. But it's pink, so that's why it's pretty. Alright. It smells so good. You can smell it from here. You know, like these little... cream on the bottom and then that little cavity raspberry filling I feel like I've... yep okay next one we have there's a lot of chocolate in this box okay um chocolate covered fruit jellies It says I could get orange, lemon, cherry, or raspberry in this box. I see lemon and I see raspberry. Mm, let's try raspberry. Okay. That's what it looks like. It says, close your eyes. I never liked anything that starts with that. Close your eyes and imagine eating a piece of jello covered in chocolate. Yep. I have jello and chocolate. That's less of a it doesn't taste bad. It's more of a texture thing, less of a taste thing. But I don't think I would eat that again. Alright, and the last thing is, it says we're still a little confused as to why there's a smiling sailor on the package. But one thing that's not a mystery is how delectable, or they are, how delectable these tiny candies are. They have a hard candy shell outside with a creamy, smooth, yogurt flavored inside. It's a nice break from the plethora of chocolate covered madness that's been front and center in many of the Polish sweets. That's for sure. Okay, let's see. Oh, these are cool. Check this out. They look like little pearls. Da, 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 da. Nope. Okay. Okay. They smell like yogurt covered raisins. Ironically, they say that these are a break from the chocolate that's in the box, but to me they taste like white chocolate. Huh. Um. Okay. So. That's the pulling box. Um. Thank you so much hit that like button. Give us a thumbs up. If you think we can be friends, hit the subscribe button down below. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.